What's up, you guys? This is DJ in the place to be FBBC. Congratulations on this challenge. You know, no matter where you at, you might have been MIA for a little bit, but you know what? There's an opportunity for you to come and join us and get back and get reconnected. I remember not too long ago, well, I was a quitter for a long time. Uh, my parents, you know, they were kind of tired in investing in me because every time they did, I would, I would quit on something, whether it be uh, sports and they had to pay extra for it. You know, we came from a almost, almost middle class, but not so quite. I mean, we, we, we struggled to make the ends meet. You know, and uh, every time I had a big, you know, uh, uh, motivation to do something, to go do a sport or whatever, it cost money for us. And uh, every time they, they, they would pay for that, you know, but I would quit. So after a while, I started asking them to do things and they were like, well, you know what? I'm sorry, David, but you quit on everything. Why should we invest in you if you're not going to take it seriously? So I remember I was in junior high one day and we were driving by the high school, I was about to 10. We were driving by the track and I remember my dad said, look, look at the track right now. Look at the field. And it was in the heat of the summer. And you can see the fumes coming off, coming off the track. I mean, that's how hot it was. When there's one person out there running, doing drills on the bleachers. And my dad looked at me and said, see David, there's always one. There's always one person behind training while everyone else is having fun. There's always one person there that's not going to give up, that's not going to settle for average. See, you don't get great in public by being average in private. You get great in public by taking little things and being great in private. I remember his name, because when I, when I started attending high school, his name was Brandon Jackson. He was one of the fastest guys on our football team. He could lift the heaviest weights, but that's what I saw. But I had a glimpse into what he was doing, and I realized the method to his madness was his preparation. Like Kobe Bryant, showing up before a game and taking a thousand shots before the game even started. His commitment to excellence. See, we can pr pursue perfection, but perfection is never going to last. It's a pursuit of excellence that's going to last. So if you really want to achieve something in life, I mean, hard work always pays off, no matter what. So if you're willing and able to give yourself fully and commit fully to this right now, you can have it. It's not what you do in public, it's what you do in private that's going to last. I had to figure that out. So, long story short, I started doing martial arts, they paid for it, and I ended up getting my black belt four years later, and it was the best moment of my life. I remember actually, I was standing among five that were being tested in a big auditorium with these big wooden beams. I mean, it was like epic and an earthquake, <laughs> an earthquake started. And I think, it was, I think it was a symbolism what was going on in my life because for the first time, the earthquake happened, I was saying that I didn't run. I stood my ground and said, no, I'm gonna finish this. Not even an earthquake was gonna stop me from testing that day where everyone went, ran outside the building. Maybe I should've ran out just in case, but you know what? I worked so hard to get there, nothing was gonna make me run. I was gonna stand my ground and whatever was in, coming for me, I was ready to fight for it. And I need you to fight for this right now, more than anything. Because that changed, that day changed the rest of my life and propelled me to the pursuit of excellence that I needed to be on. And if I would have ran, and if I would have quit, like I always did, I wouldn't be here today. So I'm asking you right now, as your coach, as a friend, as, someone's that, as someone that's been there before, don't quit on yourself. The strongest version of you is just a couple inches deep from your heart right now. We don't need your muscle, we need your heart. So finish this like a champion. Don't run to it, run through it. This is DG, I'll see you on the training floor.